Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. So today is going to be the beginning and the intro to my 75 hard for the month of March. Now, how I'm doing this is I'm doing 75 hard, but on my channel, I'm going to do weekly progress and then I'm going to do a monthly roundup. So this is the beginning of March. This is the intro to the video. And I'm just gonna talk about my personal goals that I want to achieve for the month of March. And then I'm also going to show you a before body shot and then I'm, I'm going to show you an ending body shot so I can show you what the progress that I've made in month one, the first 30 days of 75 hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my personal goals. And that is to wake up a Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. I love having a morning routine. I notice that I thrive when I have one. I notice that I just feel so much better, so much more clarity, so much more motivated throughout the day. It has just been wonderful for me. So I want to keep that as a goal for the whole entire month because I did it last week because I did it last month as a challenge for a video, ended up loving it, ended up falling off the wagon. So with that being said, every single Monday through Friday, so every single week this month, I want to wake up Monday through Friday at 6 a.m. I will allow myself to sleep in on the weekends. It probably, to be honest, won't be much longer, probably like seven at the latest but we'll see. Um, but I'm not giving myself any kind of bedtime or any kind of time to be up during the on the on the weekends because I will allow myself to just get the, the rest that my body needs through the weekends. So Sunday through Thursday, I want to be asleep no later than 1015. I've started to adapt this new nightly routine where I at nine o'clock start winding down. I really try to get off my phone. I've been putting my phone, instead of it being right next to me, I put it on this, um, like all the way on the other side of the, not the room, but the other side of the bed on the nightstand in like the outer corner where I would physically have to get up to get it. And that helps with two things. Me not reaching for my phone first thing in the morning, which again has been amazing because I get a workout in first thing in the morning. I literally wake up, go brush my teeth or drink some water, go to the bathroom and then put on shoes if I need them. And I literally start working out immediately. And that again has helped dramatically too with my mental health and clarity and just it just helps all together. So I also love because if I have the phone and I will, I will more likely grab it and get distracted. I get distracted real easily. So be asleep no later than 10, 15, winding down at around nine, making sure that everything is charged. The phone is over on the other side and that by 10 o'clock I am like lights off. It's time for us to try to start going to sleep. So that is my goal for the whole month of March, and that is a Sunday through Thursday. So on the weekends, I'm gonna be, again, more lenient with myself. I can be on my phone, I can watch TV if I want, but throughout the week where I need to get up at six, that is my bedtime because I really am noticing that I need my sleep, but if I'm distracting myself with my phone or the TV or something like that, specifically the phone, I will not get my sleep. I will just say, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> So write in my gratitude journal daily and also do affirmations daily. This is something that I am somewhat good with. However, I have not been doing them daily. I will skip days and that's just something that I don't want to do. So it is a personal goal that I do that every single day of both things. As far as my nutrition, I want to start eating greens daily and that is making a green smoothie. I want to limit treats to just one a day. So I don't consider like Built Bars a treat because of the fact that it's high in protein, low in sugar, stuff like that. But what I consider treats would be like a cereal bar or a couple of pieces of dark chocolate, a bag of chips. A lot of times I've talked about this before and when I say a bag of chips, I mean like a serving, like a mini serving bag of chips. 
I would before in the past do all of this where I would have, you know, two of the bags of chips throughout the day and then I would also have some dark chocolate and I was kind of getting out of hand as far as how many treats I was allowing myself. I'm like, oh, it's here. I want it. Let's have it. You know, there's nothing else here. Um, I can have rice cakes. I can have, there's so many other choices that I have in my pantry. So I definitely want to limit my daily treats to just one a day. I also, I really, really, really want to be under 300 pounds by the end of March or at least super close to 300, like 304, 302, 300, 300.9. Like, I don't care. I want in April to like never see that three on my scale ever, ever again, like ever. Another thing that I just remembered that I want as, as my personal goals is to weekly tan because I have been tanning lately, like self tanning, and I have been loving how I look. I'm like, girl, I, I, just, I just love myself with a tan and self tans have always intimidated me, but I'm thinking, I'm like, it looks pretty good, right? Like, you don't think it looks pretty good? I am noticing it's kind of collecting a lot of my elbows and a little bit around my ankles and stuff like that. But I'm like, my feet are tan, my legs are tan. I am loving it. So I also wanna do like a little spa night once a week where I do my nails if I need them done. I will do my self tanning. I will exfoliate my body. I will do like a face mask. Just kind of give myself a spa night once a week where I can just relax and chill out and not have to think about much of anything and just kind of really start pampering myself. I said it in one of my videos where I talked about 2021 being the year of my glow up. First, it started with me getting Botox, which I got last week and I love it, you guys. Like I need to go now get filler. Like I'm like, not that I'm gonna go and go crazy with my face, but these have been goals that I've been wanting. I have been wanting filler in my under underneath my eye. Like it's not as bad because the lights really do wash a lot of everything out. But when I'm in bad lighting, you can just see how horrible these bags of mine are. This is the only place in my body where I'm lacking fat. The only place. Why is it got to be everywhere else? Why does it have to be in the one place where you look super old if it's if you lack fat? I don't know. I've had this issue since I was a teen. So I'm just, I'm just like working my way up to all of the things and to look the way that I want to look. I'm putting it in extensions every day. I've been curling my hair, putting on my makeup, putting on cute clothes. Like I just want this year to be the year of my glow up. And it's funny cause I saw a video where it was like 2021 glow up and I just watched a little bit of it but she was taking you along as she like did these things, you know, like went and got her nails done and um, I don't remember, like I think maybe got some clothes. Um, but I was just like, that was what I was thinking because I'm constantly like, oh, I'll do that when I lose the weight. Oh, I'll do that when I lose the weight. And I just came to the conclusion one day and I'm just like, no, I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna do it now because why do I need to keep waiting? I don't know. I'm, why do I need to wait until I'm thinner to feel my best? I think it all kind of goes together. I feel better I, when I look better, and especially when I do these things that really just boost my confidence, like putting on cute clothes, putting on beautiful makeup, um, and putting in hair extensions and curling my hair like yo i have been feeling so beautiful the last week tanning myself you know putting on self tanner like i just why am i waiting now is the time to do it okay and as far as fitness i'm doing 75 hard so with that being said it's going to be working out twice a day this is basically what what 75 hard is and that's working out twice a day and working outside daily and working doing a workout daily outside i have personally done yoga outside this i did that this morning and it was beautiful i loved it like i really really enjoyed it yesterday i danced and that was fun um i've been walking of course so i definitely need some I need some switching up. Like I need something different than just walking because I will get really bored with walking. Um, and I've been loving it. I've just been loving like feeling the sun on my skin and 
it has it wasn't warm this morning or yesterday but you know as it starts warming up it's just gonna be amazing so I am super excited to see what this month has in store for me I'm gonna go ahead and do a body shot and then we will end this video and we will see what goals we end up accomplishing in the month of March and which ones we end up falling short on <laughs> And then also I'm going to do a after body shot. So this is going to be like part one, basically. Well, this is the beginning of the month Then I'm going to end it with the end of the month. So let's go ahead and do my beginning body shot. By the way, my beginning weight for the month, and you're going to hear this a lot because I've also did a 75 uh, hard intro and I'm going to do um, updates on 75 hard weekly. But this is just, I want month to month to month so you can see month one progress, month two progress, month three progress. I was supposed to do this, but then I fall off the wagon, but now I am committed y'all. So starting this month, I am starting out at the weight of 318.6. I'm really excited to see where this month is, where this month is going to take me. Now I know I said I wanted to be as close to 300 as possible and you just read my weight 318. I just came off of like having um, like several cheat meals throughout the weekend when I when I weighed myself so my first week and probably my first two weeks will probably be a good bit of water weight that I'm going to be losing plus I'm also doing two workouts a day which I'm not used to doing so I definitely expect to see a little bit maybe a little faster just a little faster of a process um so it is a higher than normal weight loss than I would personally expect of myself. But like I said, I usually lose like 10 pounds the first month or the first week after coming off of a cheat weekend basically. So I don't see it being a problem for me dropping um, that first 10 pounds at least fairly quickly. And then if I could do four pounds the next two weeks, I will be 300 pounds and these jeans that I have been dying to get into will finally fit and I will be just over the moon ecstatic. So anyways, let's go ahead and get onto the body shot and we're going to see where my body's, what my body is looking, where we are starting out at. Okay. So this is where we are starting at. I have, whew, I don't know. Can y'all see my, my legs? They're tan and I'm starting to tan my stomach. So hopefully it won't look so ridiculous. Um, also regard, disregard the fact that the top of my calves aren't tanned. But anyways, I did it this way. And then I was like, let me go ahead and pull up my shorts because I swear I'm going to kick myself in the butt like months down the road if I didn't do this part. So yeah, I went ahead and I did this. It's not easy to look at, but I cannot wait to see my results. Also, I wanted to mention that I added no fried foods for the month of March onto my goals for March. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I'm definitely keeping you guys updated week to week. So if you guys want to see my weekly updates, make sure you're subscribed and that notification bell is clicked on to get all notifications. So you're always notified of every upload that I have on my channel. And without further ado, that is going to be it. I'm really excited for this month. Like I just feel more clear, more clarity, more just every single time I get on this morning routine, I just feel like I'm on top of the world and like nothing, nothing can stop me. I'm on the way up. Is that how the song goes? I don't know. I'm looking real dumb right now. But I just feel like literally like nothing can stop me. I feel like I'm on the top of the world and I just feel like I need to stay super committed to this weight, to this weight loss journey, to this morning routine of mine. It has made such a huge impact and such a huge difference. And I want it to last more than just two weeks. So yeah, I'm really excited for it. I've been loving waking up and doing, um, exercises by the way I just want to say this real quick because if you're sleeping on yoga y'all especially if you're a plus size woman do not sleep on it find some yoga routines to do as a plus size woman or try to modify as much as you can um, with a regular yoga routine I was sleeping on yoga like pfft, you know, they say yoga is like gonna tone you or whatever but what whatever 
when I tell you guys, I did yoga yesterday morning and I was like, I feel like I'm cheating this workout because I mean, like nothing is happening. Last night I went to bed and I was like, my upper back is sore. My, what is this? I don't know, some part of, part of my shoulder, whatever it is, it's sore. My abs, they're sore. My back is a little sore, like in a good way. My, 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 little, ugh. my lower back in a good way is sore. I was like, that came from yoga this morning. So just saying, don't sleep on it. My shoulders are sore. Don't sleep on it because it's quite a good workout. <laughs> I was like, dang, I didn't know. Like I did the Chloe Ting arm workout where I was like doing this and doing this. I never once was sore and I did that 10 minutes a day every single day for 30 days straight and I saw a little bit of progress but I was never sore did what was it 30 minutes 25 30 I can't remember how much yoga I did yesterday morning I was really shocked to see that I actually was sore so don't sleep on it it's a really good workout and then don't sleep on the ones where you're like doing a lot of stretching because your body needs that too. I have just felt so much, I don't know, these just new lifestyle changes that I'm adapting, I'm really enjoying. So I feel like it's it's when, when I stop the morning routine or when something comes up and I just, uh, I'll do it tomorrow, uh, I'll do it tomorrow. All oh, this came up, now I need some more sleep. That's when I start slacking in my weight loss journey because it all connects. When I feel good, I want to look good. When I look good, I want to like look even better as far as my body's concerned and I want to dress cuter. And it just all kind of correlates and just kind of comes to this ball and just intertwine. So mental health in a weight loss journey is so incredibly important. And I have found that adapting a morning routine that works for me has been so incredibly crucial in my success. And I really noticed this because I had a counseling session this morning and her and I were talking about why I wasn't motivated the past two weeks and why I'm like super feeling good and motivated this week. And I was like, I think it's the morning routine because when I fell off the morning routine, that's when everything started going haywire. And I was like, hmm. I need a good morning routine. As a matter of fact, I'm listening to the audiobook, and I'm gonna let you go after I tell you this. I am listening to, I think it's called Morning Habits, or Morning, The Miracle Morning, The Not So Obvious Secret Guaranteed to Transform Your Life. And it's by Hale L. Rod. So yes, whether you wanna read it or listen to it, highly recommend because he just started talking about having a morning routine and I can see it. I can see in my own life how I just feel so much more productive. I get so much more done throughout the day. I'm just loving it. Okay, but that will do it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and share this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.